for joining our Team Viewer Review. Now let's learn more about what is Team Viewer and what can Team Viewer actually do for you. Use discount link below to be redirected to official Team Viewer site. Granted, this isn't the app you want to install on machines used by friends and family members who beg you for support. Rather, it's best suited for corporate use. Team Viewer is exceptionally well designed, with security conscious professional users in mind and it shares our editor's choice with the more family-friendly go to my PC. This gives you access to your own desktop at home or at the office while you're traveling with your laptop. With competitors like go to my PC and log main, you can also send out a simple one-time email invitation to take over your machine, which is handy for when you need support on your local machine and want a more technically savvy friend or family member to provide it remotely. Team Viewer doesn't provide a friendly email invitation, however, in keeping with its more business-centric focus. Team Viewer Rebook Plan Options You can sign up for a free Team Viewer friends and family account that you can use as long as you want, with no fixed limit on the number of machines or users. Team Viewer says it uses an algorithm to detect commercial use of the free version and pops up a non-binding reminder to buy a subscription. Subscription-based plans start with a business plan, reviewed here, priced at a whopping $50 per month for a single user, who can install the software on three devices and connect to an unlimited number of customers or clients. Even then you have to pay an extra fee to have more than one user controlling a separate remote session at a time. A corporate plan, at $165 per month, supports up to 200 licensed users, with three users, or up to nine more, for a fee, able to control individual sessions at the same time. For more users and finer grained management, an enterprise plan is priced according to specific needs, but you need to contact the company for details of this offering. You'll have to explain over the phone or via some other separate message how to make the connection, and typically this involves sending along a 9-digit ID and an alphanumeric password that the remote user will need. However, the same menu lets you simplify things for yourself by setting up your machine for unattended access, so that you can connect to it on the road from any device that you've registered with Team Viewer. Team Viewer Browser Interface When you connect to a remote machine with the Team Viewer app, its desktop appears in a window with an elegantly designed toolbar. The service's multi-monitor support enables display multiple displays on a remote system either one by one or together on a single screen. Numerous file transfer features include a standard dual-pane file manager for sending files between the local and remote machines and a convenient file box that lets you drop one or more files into a small window, making the files available on both machines. You don't, however, get drag-and-drop functionality between viewer and desktop, as you do with GoToMyPC and LogMain when running those apps under Windows. If you click this button, which you can hide by changing an option in the Team Viewer app, you can present this one application during an online meeting. You can also dig deep into an options menu during a meeting to select one or more application windows to share. Team Viewer Rebook Team Viewer App Interface Team Viewer's security is quite thorough, with additional setup steps not required by rival apps and some users may find the additional steps burdensome. The app then sends you an email asking you to click on a link that adds the machine to your list of trusted devices. After you've added the machine to your trusted devices, you have to return to the app and type in your email address and account password again in order to complete the operation. Other secure options include using a VPN to make the connection, in addition to the default 256-bit encryption used in remote sessions and meetings. It can also seem overwhelming when you are searching for the feature you need. It took me a long time to dig down to the account activation menu, for example. It's likely, however, that a corporate IT department would typically deal with such issues. A good example is the need to enter your account ID and password twice when registering a remote device wants to send the request to register, a second time to make the registration but I'd rather have more security than less any day, and enterprises will doubtless appreciate this attention to safety. Team Viewer is a powerful and flexible remote access app, with many elegantly designed features and a few that can be complex to navigate. It earns an editor's choice for business class remote access, and it's a sturdy, corporate-oriented alternative to go to my PC, our editor's choice for more casual use. Please feel to free to use discount link. Don't forget to subscribe by using subscribe link below. Links below. We kindly thank you. With go to my PC and log main when running those apps under Windows.
If you click this button, which you can hide by changing an option in the Team Viewer Act, you can present this one application during an online meeting. You can also dig deep into an options menu during a meeting to select one or more application windows to share. Team Viewer Rebook Team Viewer App Interface Team Viewer's security is quite thorough, with additional setup steps not required by rival apps and some users may find the additional steps burdensome. The app then sends you an email asking you to click on a link that adds the machine to your list of trusted devices. After you've added the machine to your trusted devices, you have to return to the app and type in your email address and account password again in order to complete the operation. Other secure options include using a VPN to make the connection, in addition to the default 256-bit encryption used in remote sessions and meetings. It can also seem overwhelming when you are searching for the feature you need. It took me a long time to dig down to the account activation menu, for example. It's likely, however, that a corporate IT department would typically deal with such issues. A good example is the need to enter your account ID and password twice when registering a remote device wants to send the request to register, a second time to make the registration. But I'd rather have more security than less any day, and enterprises will doubtless appreciate this attention to safety. Team Viewer is a powerful and flexible remote access app, with many elegantly designed features and a few that can be complex to navigate. It earns an editor's choice for business class remote access, and it's a sturdy, corporate-oriented alternative to go to my PC, our editor's choice for more casual use. Please feel to free to use discount link. Don't forget to subscribe by using subscribe link below. Links below. We kindly thank you.